Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you this 2021 Jeep Cherokee. This one is the limited trim, and this one has the Elite package. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you all the features this one has. So under the hood, they're going to be a 3.2 V6 connected to a nine-speed automatic transmission. The horsepower numbers are 271. The torque numbers are 239. Fuel economy numbers are 19 in the city, 27 highway, and 22 combined. So here is the MSRP sticker of this 2021 Cherokee Limited. It does have the Elite package. And the price is 38,000. So if you guys are curious about the color, the color is called Billet Silver Metallic, and it looks pretty good on this Jeep. And it's a $245 package or option that you could add to this Jeep Cherokee. Coming to the front, the headlights have a very slim look to them. Everything is LED, even the turn circle indicators and the fog lights, and they come standard on the limited trim. Around the fog lights, there are going to be some chrome trim, and I really like that nice chrome trim around the fog lights. Then in the bottom, there are going to be hooks, and they are finished in chrome. This is the sensor for the uh, adaptive cruise control and all the safety features, and there are going to be a camera right there. That's going to be for the link keep assist. Here is Jeep grill. And it is finished in chrome. Jeep, of course, is right, right there. There are going to be some sensors right here on this limited trim. And I just love the aggressive lines on the bumper. Everything just looks very, very nice. And in the bottom, there are going to be some uh, flat black. And this is actually finished in this gray color. And in the bottom around the sensor, there's going to be an opening for airflow for the engine. But anyways, guys, the front of this Jeep actually looks pretty good. And I just love the fact that everything is LED here in the front. So here is the side of the Cherokee. Love the way how it looks. And I love the fact that there is this nice aggressive line that is in the middle of the uh, front door and the back door and they're going to be a true key bat right there and for the fender flares they are finished in flat black and i love the fact that they're not too big a lot of companies go with a very big uh, fender flares but on this jeep there is a perfect amount and it is finished in ABF, abs plastic or flat plastic and in the bottom there is actually a good amount too but it's not too much for the rims and the tire size they are 225 60 18s they look amazing and they have a gray and silver finish to them up top they're going to be a roof rail and this limited trim actually comes with a panoramic sunroof and on the mirror they're going to be the turn signal indicator and the blind spot monitoring system so here is the back of the Cherokee the taillights have a really nice look to them there is a little bit of black inside the uh, taillights and this top portion right here and the surrounding of the tail light is actually finished in gloss black it just looks very good the tail lights are a combination of led and halogen so the turn signal indicators and the running light right here in the back are led and the reverse light is actually halogen limited badge right there and all the way to the left they're going to be four by four in the bottom you'll have some reflectors and the back bumper is actually finished in flat black but there are going to be some sensors on it. And there are going to be a chrome piece that is in the back. Here in the back, there are going to be dual exhaust tips with dual exhaust pipes. But the exhaust pipes are not connected to the exhaust tips. But I think that Jeep did a great job making them look connected to the exhaust pipes. So here is the key. The key is finished in just plastic. Nothing too fancy or crazy about it, but it does have a really nice weight to it. It's going to say Jeep in the back. There's going to be a physical key inside of it and five buttons on it. Lock, unlock, remote start, trunk release or tailgate release and a panic button. To remote start the SUV, lock it once and double click on the remote start button. To open the tailgate, there's going to be a button on the key one on the tailgate and one inside so let's go ahead and double click on it and it does have automatic tailgate and there is no button right here to close it but there is a handle to close the tailgate there's going to be a button right here 
that's how Jeep does it. And inside, guys, there is a plenty of space back here for a small SUV. There's going to be a subwoofer right here in the back. A little bit more storage. I love the fact that there is a light. Here is a tie down. More storage place right here, a tie down here, and another light that is located in a different place, which is nice. And more tie downs, 12 volt. Let's go ahead and see what's underneath. There's going to be a spare tire inside, and there is a very small places right here to put probably something very small around the spare tire, and then you will have the jack and the jack tools in the middle. But back here, there is a good amount of space. But let's go ahead and move inside, and I'll go and show you the interior of this Jeep Cherokee. That's all the they have. So here is the door handle. The door handle has a sensor right behind it. That's how you unlock. So here is the door handle. It is finished in the same color as the SUV. There's going to be a sensor right behind it. That's how you unlock the SUV. And to lock it, just go ahead and click on the spine. So here is the door panel. This top portion right here is nice and it is finished in this synthetic rubber material. Here is the door handle, feels nice and solid. Memory seats, mirror controls, window switches, the front two are uh, auto up and down. Here are the door locks. Armrest feels nice and soft. I love the white stitching right here. Gray is trim, just looks very good. This bottom portion is plastic and it kind of sounds a little bit weird feels like it's an empty plastic or very um, light um, or thin plastic. A good amount of storage place right here, a bottle holder. Here is the speaker. And coming inside, here is the seat. And actually those seats are very, very comfortable. You will have Jeep written on the seats. And they are ventilated and uh, heated seats. And in the bottom right here, you will have the lumbar support and the uh, seat controls. so coming inside of this Cherokee Limited it honestly feels very good being inside of this Jeep the seats are very comfortable and you could see out of the SUV very very easy windows are very nice and large and it's actually very easy to see out of this SUV here is the steering wheel it's very similar to the Grand Cherokee all the way to the left there are going to be some controls right here to control the middle screen Fuel menus, fuel economy, PSI, strip information, phone controls right here, all the way to the right. They're going to be the adaptive cruise control in this limited trim. The steering wheel itself, it's wrapped in leather. It's a little bit on the thinner side, but that's fine. Feels very nice. All the way to the left, they're going to be the headlight controls with the brightness controls and the trunk or tailgate release right here for the screen. The screen is an 8.4 inch touch screen. It does have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, and it's very responsive and you can control the climates from here if you want to. So here is the backup camera. And I love the fact that the screen is big so you could see uh, very easy backing up. Up top, there's going to be a storage place. So I like the fact that there's a storage place up there. And right here, they're going to be few buttons, the parking uh, button, this Jeep parks by itself, parking sensors, emergency lights, link keep assist, and I love the gloss black right here around the screen, engine start stop right here, and the climate controls are all the way in the bottom, very easy to use, traction control, engine shut off when you come to a complete stop, you could turn this function on so the engine turns off when you come to a complete stop to save some gas, volume knob right here, tune knob, here are the climate controls, very easy as I said. And there's going to be a little bit of storage right here for a phone. And right here, they're going to be the terrain selector. So you could go from auto, snow, sport, sand, and mud. And a USB, an aux, a 12 volt. And here is the nine speed automatic transmission shifter does have plus and minus so you can control the gears but there is no paddle shifters on the steering wheel 
electronic e-brake and I love the gloss black with the brushed aluminum around it and here are the cup holders I really wish they had like a chrome or silver trim around the cup holders but that's fine a small tray right here for a phone or a wallet armrest feels a little bit a little bit on the harder side but it's not too bad here is some stitching it does have two tiers and inside there is actually a good amount of space for a small SUV they're going to be a USB inside and coin holders but there is no light so here is the mirror and the mirror is a little bit on the bulky side but it's not that bad here is some glasses holder and I love the chrome right here around uh, the um, the glasses holder and the lights it just looks very very good you'll have uh, a few buttons right here to control the uh, panoramic sunroof and a few buttons here to control the shade and to open the panoramic sunroof just go ahead and click on this button and it is automatic so it opens all the way click it one more time so I love the fact that it's automatic you don't have to hold it down and you'll have some halogen lights I really wish that those were LED lights especially for this limited trim garage controls right here on the visor the visor feels nice and soft or it's nice and sturdy and it does have a mirror inside of it with some lights so here is the back door and the back door is not the same as the front this is plastic door handle feels the same as the front window switch right here armrest more of that white stitching here is the bottom of the door same as the front bottle holder tiny bit of space and more of that gray trim coming inside they're going to be a good amount of space in this Jeep legroom is pretty good as well those seats right here are actually heated since it has the elite package so it gives you heated seats here in the back here in the back they're going to be the heated seat controls two USBs two USB-C's an AC outlet and AC vents here is the armrest with two cup holders and it is nice and soft and there are going to be some lights on both sides and this panoramic uh, moonroof as I told you guys it is standard on the limited trim so guys that's it for this video I hope you guys liked it I would like to thank Keith here at executive Dodge Ram in Wallingford if you guys are around make sure to come check them out I'm gonna go ahead and put their information and link in the bottom of this video and if you guys would like to see more videos like this please subscribe and as always I'll see you next time